let's begin the show. First, let's have some cocktail. Hmm. Great. Hello everyone, bye guys, and welcome back to another video. How's it going? Everything okay? Good to have a good great day of Davis is smiling face, so smile a bit and keep continue. In this video, we are going to have a depth review on Canon EOS M50 and see what are all these buttons for. On top of the camera, camera on off button with mode dial, video recording button, and this is the multifunction button. We can set this button to be a shortcut for our most used function, but the default option of this button is ISO. Here is the shutter button with main dial for changing shutter speed, aperture, ISO, shooting mode, and many other things. Here we have the flash like many other cameras, but for using it, we need to rise it manually. There is a small LED light here, and here we have a Canon EOS M50 mark. You may be wondering, what is this sign over here? Well, this sign shows the actual position of the sensor. At the bottom of the camera, we have the battery and memory card place. Let's load them in. And this is the place to mount it on a monopod or tripod. Here we have electronic viewfinder, this high definition monitor provides a high contrast view when shooting. And this is the viewfinder sensor in the right side. You know, when you're not using the viewfinder or the screen, viewfinder automatically turn it off to save the power. Under the viewfinder, there's a sliding switch to set it for your eyesight. It has a flip touch screen, which allow you to rotate for easier shooting from different shooting positions. Here we have a menu button, this is the playback button, and with these two buttons we can zoom in and out, or better than that using the touch screen like our mobile phone. We can see the information of the photo or video with info button, or using this button for deleting any photo or videos. This is the information button. Here we have flash on and off button. By this button you can quickly set the camera into manual focus or autofocus. Here we have Q or quick control screen and set button. This Q or quick control screen button is very useful one. Instead of going to the menu and finding the setting between many others, by pressing the Q button we can quickly access to the necessary setting that we need to change. And finally, this button allows you to set exposure compensation. On the right side, we have macro BUSB and macro HDMI type D ports. This button over here allows you to quickly connect to your device with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even NFC. And an external microphone input port on the left side for having a good quality sound. In front of the camera, we have the lens release button and another LED light over here. You know when the subject is dark, it gives you an extra light for better focusing. I'm not in a dark place right now, am I? No. Are you? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so we discovered everything on the camera. Yes. But where is the microphone and the speaker? Ah, you're clever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a secret. Hmm, really? Oh, I'm just kidding. I know it, I know it! There are two microphones in front of the camera over here and the speaker is in the back of the camera, under the touch screen, on top corner, over here. Ooh, they are really in a hidden place. Yeah, especially the speaker. Okay, let's load the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. For loading the lens, just put these two small white dots together, then turn it side. 
For releasing the lens to use, press the switch button and turn it side. Now we're ready to capture the moment. In photography, it has a high speed continuous shooting of up to 10 frames per second. Look at this. Nice. If you're recording video in 720 or HD, we can get 120 frames per second. In 1080 or Full HD, we can record 25 up to 60 frames per second. Then how about 4K or Ultra HD? We have 4K with 20 frames per second, but it cropped it in sensor. What? The camera is already cropped sensor, and in 4K, adding another crop? Yeah, that's right. It became like this. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. The camera has 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor with Digic 8 image processor. It has a digital stabilization, especially for videography, in 143 autofocus points with tracking. Super light and very compact camera. All in all, it's really great for photography and especially for videography. <laughs>